Alright, on this beautiful Georgia day, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about your battery and your charging system. So, this is going to be a three-part little thing. First, I'm going to show you how to tell whether or not your battery is shit, and maybe you need to get a new one, or if your battery is even being charged the way that it needs to. So to do this, you're going to need a multimeter of some sort. You can get these pretty cheap. You can get them at Harbor Freight or at Walmart or AutoZone or anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, whatever. But they're about $10, maybe $15. I want to say this one cost me about $15. So what we're going to do is you got your negative and you got your volts. So we're going to put the positive lead to the volts and the negatives going in the negative. So this is off. I'm going to turn it to 20 volts since it's a 12 volt battery. Alright, so for those of you who are not familiar with multimeters, let me be a little more thorough. And if you are familiar with the multimeter, I'll make this quick. So, as I said, here is the negative, and that's where I'm putting my negative lead. And then the positive for volts, just so you see what that looks like. We're going with the positive lead. The multimeter is in the off position right now. I'm going to turn it to this symbol, which is the volts, and that's what I want to test. So we're doing 20 volts, as I said, because it is a 12 volt battery. You want to go above because if I went to 2 volts, which is the next reading, it wouldn't read a 12 volt battery. You're going to touch the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative. You don't want to see less than 12 volts. Ideally, you want to see 12.5. Don't electrocute yourself while you do this. Alright, so negative goes to the negative. And positive goes to the positive. Be careful. And I'm at 12.57, which means my battery's looking good. Now what you want to test is cranking amps. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do this. Ugh. Okay, so you don't want to see this when you crank. You don't want to see the multimeter drop below nine volts. It drops below nine volts. That's when it's time for you to do a little bit of digging. Okay, so like I said before, when you start the motorcycle, you don't want to see a volt droppage below nine. So, don't do it to us, So as you saw, the multimeter didn't fall below 10. That's good news for me. That means that my bike has the proper battery charge that it needs, and my battery is capable of outputting the power needed to crank the bike. If you guys are finding yourself with a similar situation, you have your battery fully charged, and it's not falling below 9.6 when you go to crank it, and your bike's starting, you're in good shape. If you are noticing that you have all those good signals, and that your battery is doing what it's supposed to, but in a few days or after riding for a while your battery dies, then that means that we need to start looking deeper into the charging system, whether it be the regulator rectifier or the stator. And that will come on the next video. So make sure you keep an eye out for that. If you're finding that your battery didn't start with the proper charge, then go ahead and take it off and charge it. Make sure that it's taking a charge. And once you charge it and you put it back on the bike, if it falls below the 9.6, that means that your battery is bad. If it falls below 10, that means it's starting to lose its oomph and it's gonna go bad. So keep those things in mind. I hope that you found this video useful. Like this video, share this video, and if you wanna see more in the future, subscribe. Moto Mantha out. You guys stay safe. I'll see you next week.